hello hello uh, short on time today so I thought I would do a video from my car um, sorry if it's shaking so yeah so I was I was really interested my son was shouting to me last night um, it says hey mum there's a school that offers meditation instead of detention and I was like what a great idea um, so I haven't done loads of research into it or anything I've just quickly skimmed an article but basically rather than putting kids into the typical windowless uh, room where they're bored out their brains looking at a blank wall or having to do something futile like writing lines or whatever Okay, sorry about that. My uh, boss rang me in the middle. Um, so yeah, so I was talking about this school that are doing meditation instead of detention. And of course they're having fantastic results because for those of you that do meditation or certainly know about meditation, the, the benefits are endless. We very often are running around chasing our tails, never giving ourselves any downtime to not think. You know, we I think we process something ridiculous like I don't know 100,000 thoughts a day could be more than that could be less I'm not sure but something crazy like that and um, yeah it's just one one after the other after the other and you can go on a merry dance as my mate calls it um, and um, yeah so having the, the meditation allows you the, the time and the space just to dedicate to being still thinking nothing and just allowing and in those states you know this has been well documented over the years Einstein for sure uh, Newton I think um, you know in those times of thinking of nothing was when they had their eureka moments because it allows the divine or your higher self whatever you want to call it to be heard and you can acknowledge it and um, Nine times out of ten, people might disregard the thought, the eureka, thinking, oh, because the, then the logic comes in, the mind comes in to say, oh, you can't do that. But anyway, I digress. So this school is is basically embracing the meditation. They're also uh, embracing meditation and yoga for after schools, for in, in childcare, and... Um, yeah, and, and like people have said, well, you never get kids to sit still and do nothing. Well, they absolutely are, and they're absolutely embracing it. And because at the end of the day, you know, unruly behavior, bad behavior, annoying behavior, whatever it might be from the kids at school, I remember it well. We all had kids that love to disrupt all the time. That's coming from a place of um, either unhappiness for them, uncertainty for them, uh, testing the boundaries maybe because they are uh, suffocated at home or or god forbid you know abused or or not heard at home whatever it might be whatever that kid feels he's he or she is acting out on the basis of of that and it manifests into unruly behavior which obviously when a teacher is looking after 30 kids or 40 kids the easiest option is to get them out of the classroom and stick them in a room. Um, but to stick them in a room that's that's decorated nicely, that's that's genteel, that's uh, evoking mindfulness and encouraging that student to be quiet and be still and explain the benefits of why they are asking the students to do that it's proving way more effective to um, to help that student than sticking them in a room and telling them to do a hundred lines. Um, and I just thought that was brilliant. And um, and it also, I'm listening to the Gene Keys uh, book at the moment. And it talks about the fact that, you know, I mean, Einstein basically blew Newtonian theory and Darwinian theory out of the water really in terms of the um, the discovery of quantum physics, the discovery that within particles and atoms 
there's just energy you know so what we see as solid and, and matter isn't actually solid it's energy vibrating at a lower frequency to create matter um, but I mean I don't know when Einstein announced all of this and proved it I really should do my research but essentially that still has not been widely acknowledged or uh, put into certainly the school curriculum when it comes to biology and, and physics uh, it's still very much I remember when I was at school obviously that's quite a long time ago now but it, it was New, Newton and Darwin it wasn't uh, Einstein um, and science is very much recognizing quantum physics now and very much recognizing that actually logic rational logic uh, is not the way forward for people because you can logically produce one uh, opinion and you can logically produce the opposite opinion and they both cancel each other out and you get nowhere um, so so yeah so th there's a lot of work to be done in terms of the wider world and the certainly the school curriculum accepting ooh, I need to be in um, accepting the quantum physics as opposed to the traditional science that we all know and love from our uh, days at school and once we do that I mean there's, there's already a higher consciousness happening which I'm sure some of you watching this will appreciate and feel and actually in the in the uh, in the Gene Keys book it talked about in 2012 the earth was perfectly aligned with some galaxy <laughs> I know that's not ideal uh, explanation but that's all I can remember as we are right now can I stay in this lane I think I can oh anyway um, and that was basically um, very much an awakening of, of higher consciousness. Uh, it changed the energy completely. And I can relate to that, because in 2012, that was um, a when I was finally honest with my husband about not being happy. It was also when I got back into self-development and um, uh, and yeah, getting back into looking at entrepreneurial ways of progressing when I'd, when I'd been pretty stagnant for the five years before that due to a, a very much a fear factor because of stuff that happened in my past. And I started to move forwards from 2012. So I can totally relate to that. And, and certainly, um, I mean, my spiritual development has, has kicked in from 2006 really it's always been there, but more so from 2006 when I lost my dad, but it really sort of accelerated from 2012 because that's when I discovered Abraham Hicks as well. So yeah, it all makes perfect sense to me. Um, so I'm going to leave it there. This is quite a long video and um, hopefully you got some value out of that. As always, any questions, if you want to chat, let me know, reach out um, and I'll leave it there. See you tomorrow. Bye.